Well, it is not what the victim wanted, but tonight we now know that Brandon Vandenberg will spend the next 17 years in prison. It's the former Vandy football player's punishment for raping an unconscious female student. News Channel 5's Chris Conti has been following this case for three years, and Chris, I know the victim couldn't bring herself to testify today. Not in person, Rory. Three trials, four separate times testifying on the bench, and that one rape that she lives with every day, which has taken so much from her, all kept her from appearing here in court today. The victim only wanted Brandon Vandenberg to receive the maximum sentence. In the end, the judge decided 17 years was enough. Wish that it would never happen again. A name and some numbers all on a board allude little to the lives one case has shattered. I let everyone down, and many lives were destroyed. At the time, he said he didn't do it, didn't rape that unconscious female student inside Gillette Hall. I am here before the court, saddened, scared, ashamed, and remorseful. But after two separate juries convicted Brandon Vandenberg of rape, he had no choice but to ask for mercy. I can see myself as a positive role model and teach our youth about my experience. The 23-year-old made no mention of the video he tried to destroy or the condoms he allegedly handed out. She will need continued therapy and support for a very long time. Those details were instead left for prosecutor Jan Norman to describe. That he abused a position of trust. It was her job, too, to speak for the victim, who decided she'd been through enough. Please do not use my absence as an excuse for leniency, as it in no way diminishes the profound and insidious impact of Mr. Vandenberg on me and my life. So many lives taken in so many different directions, all because of one night three years ago. Please give Brandon a second chance in life. He would never, ever do anything to hurt anyone. He is the one who could stop this incident. In the end, Judge Monty Watkins decided the minimum sentence plus two years was just. All of which will run concurrently with one another for a total effective sentence of 17 years. 17 years. If served, the former Vandy football player will be released when he's 40. But unfortunately, it may be not so atypical a crime and that this should should stop. It should never happen. But no sentence or jail time will ever give back to the victim what she's lost. Justice is going to be served. Brandon Vandenberg will have to file as a sex offender for the entirety of his life. In the words of Warwick Robinson, there are no winners in this case, only losers and survivors. We are live at the courthouse downtown this evening. Chris Conti, News Channel 5.